And meanwhile, a compendium of bills were tabled this morning aimed at expanding the regulatory framework of the credit union industry under the central bank. In moving the bill, Minister of State for Finance Michael Halkidis urged more Bahamians to form cooperatives to promote self-empowerment. The philosophy is simply people helping people to help themselves. And with the, with the cost of living and the, 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 the brotherhood and sisterhood of churches and lodges, it's easy to start and operate credit unions under those, those captive conditions. Because they don't have to look for members. They're right there. Every Sunday, they're right there. Every Wednesday, that every Wednesday night, they're right there. And so we will see who will take up the challenge. We apologize. That was the Honorable V. Alfred Gray. Leading debate for the opposition was Long Island Member of Parliament Loretta Butler-Turner. In supporting the bill, she said credit unions play a significant role, especially in the family islands. This is a move in the right direction. As Bahamians are hurting and reeling and trying to determine how best they're going to be able to use their scarce resources uh, to continue to um, survive in this environment. I think cooperatives and cooperative credit unions are certainly the move that we need to embrace more widely. I commend the government that we are moving forward with the regulations because one of the things that we also realize that when large sums of money or even small sums of money are being utilized, we've got to ensure that they're being administered in the proper fashion. 